Waking the Witch is a 75-minute immersive chamber opera in which the audience assumes the role of a 16th century accused witch facing increasingly intense questions from a witch finder who is convinced they formed a pact with the devil. Using a libretto derived from the words of historical witch hunters, along with rhetoric from modern-day leaders and movements that is eerily similar, Waking the Witch asks audiences to consider the dangers of black-and-white thinking, conspiracy theories, and dehumanizing others in the name of a cause. The opera is especially appropriate for non-traditional performance spaces, where the audience can be essentially on stage with the performers. The piece is immersive rather than interactive. The witchfinder is interested in imposing his own narrative, and there's little the accused can say or do to change his thinking. This chamber piece is written for Pierrot Ensemble and a solo countertenor contralto or mezzo as the Witchfinder. The additional characters are possibly real, possibly hallucinatory animal familiars, played by the treble instruments of the ensemble. The further the Witchfinder sinks into heartlessness and absurdity, the more joyful the familiars become. Like the Witchfinder, the familiars move through the audience at times, bringing them into the action. There is also an optional surprise women's chorus that provides a final note of empathy at the opera's close. The title, Waking the Witch, is derived from the East Anglia Witch Trials, in which sleep deprivation was used as a supposed substitute for torture. The opera's structure reflects the increased disassociation and distance from reality, including moments of lost time called microsleeps, that one might undergo with extreme lack of sleep. The libretto follows a typical historical pattern. Suspicions between neighbors build up over years, finally becoming formal accusations that authorities interpret through a fear-based theology that paints the most vulnerable as a threat against society. The music, like the Witchfinder's ideologies, begins in the European church and ends in Americana. Tonal, modal, tuneful arias are layered with moments of structured improvisation, and audiences are likely to leave with an earworm urging them to confess. Through a mix of surprising, spooky sounds and rhythmic, singable arias, Waking the Witch aims to be an innovative experience, asking a small number of performers to come together in a true ensemble, and bringing audiences into the room for a thoughtful and engaging experience of how history repeats itself, ultimately encouraging us to find ways to do better.